Hello. Welcome to I Love English Language channel. Let's learn five English idioms with movies and TV series. Episode 3 Number 11 Get a kick out of something. Meaning This phrase means to get a sense of enjoyment, amusement, or excitement from something. Example you're getting a kick out of that new iPad, aren't you? Don't mix up this idiom with the phrasal verb kick out, which means to try to hit or attack someone suddenly and violently with your foot, or in its informal usage means to force someone to leave a place or organization. Sir? You know, maybe we're just better off using the whole Lincoln Memorial memo. Just include the whole Including thing. Mr. Memo. President, Swifty Lizard is here. Okay. No, no. Stick around. You're going to get a kick out of this. This is my literary agent from Hollywood. Hygiene obsessive. Sir? You know, maybe we're just better off using the whole Lincoln Memorial memo. Just include the whole Including thing. Mr. Memo. President, Swifty Lizard is here. Okay. No, no. Stick around, you're gonna get a kick out of this. This is my literary agent from Hollywood. Hygiene obsessive. Pretty fancy moves, Murphy. Uh, yeah, well, my son Jimmy watches this cop show, DJ Laser, and this laser guy does this every time he takes down a bad guy, so naturally my, my kid thinks every good cop should be... And you don't want to disappoint him. Yeah, well, role models can be very important to a boy. Okay, okay, I get a kick out of it. Pretty fancy moves, Murphy. Uh, yeah, well, my son Jimmy watches this cop show, DJ Laser, and this laser guy does this every time he takes down a bad guy, so naturally my, my kid thinks every good cop should be... And you don't want to disappoint him. Yeah, well, role models can be very important to a boy. Okay, okay, I get a kick out of it. Honey, I want to laugh. I have to laugh tonight, really. Oh, 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 do you have anything with that comedian? He's on that show. It's uh, on the radio. You know, the guy, he says, hey, forgive me. <laughs> I get such a kick out of the way he says that. He's so goddamn adorable. That would be perfect. Didn't he make a movie? Uh, Honey, I want to laugh. I have to laugh tonight, really. Oh, 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 do you have anything with that comedian? He's on that show. It's uh, on the radio. You know the guy, he says, hey, forgive me. <laughs> I get such a kick out of the way he says that. He's so goddamn adorable. That would be perfect. Didn't he make a movie? Number 12. Jump for joy. Meaning. If you say someone is jumping for joy, you mean they are pleased about something. Example. She jumped for joy on being told the news. Standard procedure with the sound of Yeah, I get it. You know, you didn't really let the side stand with you. You got a lot of brothers out there. Yeah, I know. I like a private funeral. Senator gets in his moods. Not too good today. No, that's too bad. I was jumping for joy. Standard procedure with the sound of Yeah, I get it. You know, you didn't really let the side stand with you. You got a lot of brothers out there. Yeah, I know. I like a private funeral. Senator gets in his moods. Not too good today. No, that's too bad. I was jumping for joy. You should be jumping for joy. I'm jumping. You got work to do, arrangements to make. A shave and a hot towel will fix you up. Well, who should I have a shave? For who should I have a hot towel? Do you know what is at stake here? Nathan Detroit's crap game. Because of a dog. You should be jumping for joy. I'm jumping. You got work to do. Arrangements to make. 
A shave and a hot towel will fix you up. For who should I have a shave? For who should I have a hot towel? Do you know what is at stake here? Nathan Detroit's crap game. Because of a dog. Listen, Time Magazine is uh, sending a reporter to Grandma and they need a photographer. When they see these. Interesting? Time, yeah, sure. Well, don't jump for joy, will you? God. You're right. Yeah, I'm just tired. It's a long trip. Okay, anything else? No, that's it. Okay, I'll right. call you. Bye. I'll see you anyway. See ya. Listen, Time magazine is uh, sending a reporter to Grandma and they need a photographer. When they see these. Interesting? Time, yeah, sure. Well, don't jump for joy, will you? God. You're right. Yeah, I'm just tired. It's a long trip. Okay, anything else? No, that's it. Okay, I'll All call right. you. Bye. I'll see you anyway. See ya. Number 13. Be walking on air or floating on air. Meaning. If you say that you are walking on air or floating on air, you mean that you feel extremely happy about something. Example. I've been walking on air ever since we won the game. Well, I can't say I'm not walking on air. Well, I can't say I'm not walking on air. Please be candid. I, I don't want you to feel bad. Yes, but I... I have certain feelings for you, but don't make me say anything oh, no, more, Okay, right? oh, okay, okay. You, you, you said enough. It's my responsibility now. I will work things out. Look, don't do anything on my behalf. I live with Frederick and Hannah and I are close. Yes, but you, you do care about me. Oh, Elliot, please, I can't be a party to this. I'm suddenly wrapped with guilt just standing here talking to you on the street. Your guilt is because you feel the same. Oh, please, I have to go. I have to get my teeth clean. I have my answer. I have my answer. I'm walking on air. <laughs> Please be candid. I, I don't want you to feel bad. Yes, but I I have certain feelings for you, but don't make me say anything oh, no, more, Okay, right? oh, Okay, okay, you, you, you said enough. It's my responsibility now. I will work things out. Look, don't do anything on my behalf. I live with Frederick and Hannah and I are close. Yes, but you, you do care about me. Oh, Elliot, please, I can't be a party to this. I'm suddenly wrapped with guilt just standing here talking to you on the street. Your guilt is because you feel the same. Oh, please, I have to go. I have to get my teeth clean. I have my answer. I have my answer. I'm walking on air. <laughs> we were all walking on air that night. It had been a solid victory. In fact, we'd beat the crap out of those guys. So we all went to celebrate. And we did the stupidest thing any of us had ever done. We were all walking on air that night. It had been a solid victory. In fact, we'd beat the crap out of those guys. So we all went to celebrate. And we did the stupidest thing any of us had ever done. Number 14. Something makes someone's day. Meaning. When something makes someone's day, it makes that person very happy. Example. Seeing Adrian again after such a long time really made my day. What to eat today, kid? Sure do, Mino. Wash. Use your assets. Yes. Thank you, Henry. You made my day. <laughs> <laughs> Let me make it evening, too. Come up to me at Cranston's tonight when you finish up here. There's a few up there we'd like to meet you. All right. Thanks. What want to eat today, kid? Sure do, Mino. Wash. Yes, sir. Use your assets. Yes. Thank you, Henry. You made my day. <laughs> Let me make it evening, too. 
Come up to Amelia Cranston's tonight when you finish up here. There's a few up there we'd like to meet you. All right. Thanks. Oh, I'm so sorry. I just totally understand if you never want to speak to me again or if you don't want to see me. Or... Miss Pranston, not only am I not angry with you, but you... you... <laughs> You've absolutely made my day. What? I'm just suspecting that I can be such an imaginative, dramatic fiend. I, I love it. You do? I, yes. I think it's one of the funniest, craziest things I've ever heard in my life. I can't wait to tell it the chaps at the club. Oh, I'm so sorry. I just totally understand if you never want to speak to me again or if you don't want to see me. Or... Miss Pranston, not only am I not angry with you, but you... you <laughs> you've absolutely made my day. What? I'm just suspecting that I can be such an imaginative dramatic fiend. I, I love it. You do? I, yes. I think it's one of the funniest, craziest things I've ever heard in my life. I can't wait to tell it the chaps at the club. Yeah, well, I will just drop Ryan and Dorothy at home and then we'll, we'll, we'll have a drink, just the three of us. Thank right. you. Go. Oh, right. lovely, Howard. Thank you. It's all in your favourite. Yeah, well, I will just drop Ryan and Dorothy at home and then we'll, we'll, we'll have a drink, just the three of us. Right. Thank you. Oh, lovely, Howard. Thank you. It's all in your favorite. Yeah, I should you know, really think I can write. I those one. There's maybe one or two things in there that I would do differently myself. But right. but who cares? It was just. It was fabulous. Oh. Fab I mean it. I'm so impressed. <laughs> I, oh, I am. You you God. made my day. It was just great. Oh, I was all no. set. I was set to be bored stiff. Oh, gee. would you like to have lunch? I, I would love to talk to you about that script. I, I you know, I think th that we could do something with it. Okay. Yeah, you know, you really think I can write? I thought it was one. There's maybe one or two things in there that I would do differently myself. But, right. but who cares? It was just, it was fabulous. Oh. Fab I mean it. I'm so impressed. <laughs> I, I am. You, you made my day. It was just great. Oh, I was all no. set. I was set to be bored stiff. Oh, gee. would you like to have lunch? I, I would love to talk to you about that script. I, I you know, I think th that we could do something with it. Okay. Number 15. Be on cloud nine. Meaning. When you say someone is on cloud nine, you emphasize that they are very happy. Example. When John was born, I was on cloud nine. All right, I've got something I want to share. The panic attacks have come back, and I just don't understand it. Everything is great. My career, my marriage. I should be on cloud nine, and instead of which, I've got this free, floating anxiety and feeling of in, impending doom. And the diarrhea. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sorry, it's just that, uh, that my panic attacks come with diarrhea. All right, I've got something I want to share. The panic attacks have come back, and I just don't understand it. Everything is great. My career, my marriage. I should be on cloud nine, and instead of which, I've got this free, floating anxiety and feeling of in, impending doom. And the diarrhea. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sorry, it's just that, uh, that my panic attacks come with diarrhea. And just like that, we stopped fighting and celebrated Marshall's success. You see, when someone's bad habits are pointed out to you, it's hard to ignore them. I'm a lawyer now, because I passed the bar. I'm imposing martial law on this champagne. <laughs> are you literally on cloud nine right now? Maybe you never have to take the bar again. And just like that, we stopped fighting and celebrated Marshall's success. You see, when someone's bad habits are pointed out to you, it's hard to ignore them. I'm a lawyer now, because I passed the bar. I'm imposing martial law on this champagne. <laughs> are you literally on cloud nine right now? Maybe you never have to take the bar again. What are you doing? Oh, I just got out my old briefcase. It's still capable of doing the job. Just like me. Claire, you have to understand something. You have to understand something. I walked around all day on cloud nine because somebody valued me. I value you. We all value you. No, 
of course you do, because I cook and I clean and I pick up dirty underwear. No, honey, it's different than that. I have been on the sidelines for so long. I didn't know if anybody would ever think I have what it takes again. What are you doing? Oh, I just got out my old briefcase. It's still capable of doing the job. Just like me. Claire, you have to understand something. You have to understand something. I walked around all day on cloud nine because somebody valued me. I value you. We all value you. No, of course you do. Because I cook and I clean and I pick up dirty underwear. No, honey, it's different than that. I have been on the sidelines for so long. I didn't know if anybody would ever think I have what it takes again. I'm depressed. Oh, come on. What are you talking about? You should be on cloud nine. I'm depressed. Oh, come on. What are you talking about? You should be on cloud nine. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Also, hit the notification bell icon so YouTube will notify you of the following videos.